Hi, everybody. How are you? Is everyone excited to be here? Because I'm so, so, so excited. I'm so excited that you guys had me a part of this amazing Super Saturday. I'm so excited for all the people that's on here. Are you guys ready for some nuggets? Who's here ready for some nuggets? Who's really, who's ready to take your trading to the next level? Who on here? If you are ready, throw me some 777s seven, seven, right now in the chat. If you are ready to take your trading to a whole nother level. You can, I'm you excited, can, guys. You can turn on the chat if you would like and turn it back off if you know how to do it. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I can see. I can see the chat. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So let me screen share. And today's thing, you know, we're really going to tune in into developing a trader's mindset because, you know, I'm always teaching, you know, the skill sets and I, I'm always diving into mindsets in all my session. But, you know, I could have been here on today's session and taught you a strategy. But which, what I did notice is that without a proper mindset, that strategy is, is useless at that point. And the best way to teach a trader strategies, um, techniques, is developing their mindset first so they can receive and know what to do with the information that you're delivering to them as an educator. So today's session is we're going to be working on how to develop the right mindset as a trader. So let's go share my screen <clears throat> right here. Perfect. And let me put this on. I unmuted myself. Perfect. Can everyone see this? Gary, can you see this? Yes, I can. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. So, <clears throat> Developing a trader's mindset, it's something that, you know, it's not done overnight. It, it takes, you know, trial and error, um, seeing losses and wins and trying to develop a pattern, right? You're trying to develop a pattern and identifying where are you missing? What is the missing puzzle to take you to that consistent level where you can honestly feel confident in the trades that you are constantly executing on a daily basis. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's go over the next slide. Let me switch over. It is improving your trading mindset. So I'm gonna go over seven points that's really gonna really, really help you. Develop a morning routine. You see, when you're developing a routine, it's something that has to be continuously, every single day, same time, throughout the seven day a week. Now, you're not gonna only do it when the training market is open. You're not gonna do it only from Sunday or to Friday. You're gonna actually practice this seven days a week. Developing an effective morning routine is really, really, helps a whole trader's mindset get into the right mindset. I'm going to give you some examples. Maybe an early workout, an early walk, some meditation, something to help approach you to feel relaxed and calm before you get on the markets. You see, if, you're, if you woke up in a bad mood or stressed or angry, imagine the type of mindset you're going to have when you're sitting in front of your laptop or on your computer, whatever device you're on, and you're trying to look for setups in the morning. You're not going to be fully there. Your attention is not going to be there. The, the focus is not really going to be there. So getting in tune with yourself so if you are up for, and say if you trade the New York session, okay, and you're up, your trading session is about to execute, you're going to get ready to enter some trades at 8 in the morning. Get up 90 minutes prior. Get up 90 minutes prior. Get yourself in a routine. Listen to some personal development when you first wake up. Listen to some positive positive reinforcements early in the morning. Fill yourself with positive affirmations. Tell yourself, today is gonna to be an amazing day. I am going to have an amazing trading session. Do some deep breathing exercise. 
But I'm telling you, the best, best way is to get yourself in a state of relaxation and a calm relaxation moment where you can really be fixated on what you have to focus for the morning routine. The second thing is to never stop learning. In this financial education, the foundation of any successful trader is to have continuously learning. Don't get to your, don't get all ahead of yourself where, you know what, I'm good enough. I don't need to learn anymore. Never limit yourself. The, way, the moment you tell yourself that you feel you don't need to learn anymore and what you have is good enough, you are limiting yourself. You are capping yourself. You see, we always have to remain a student. Five and a half years I've been in this industry and I always, always keep an open mind to learn new things. Maybe I can have ways to improve myself, but if I have limit my mindset where I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to just stop learning. I don't, I'm good with the, with the strategy I know, and I don't need to um, dig further. That's not the right mindset. A successful trader is always open to learn. There's always things changing. Remember, the market's not going to be the same that it was 10 years ago, that it was five years ago, that it was two weeks ago, and that's what's going to be tomorrow, okay? So you have to be able to condition the mind to be willing to receive new information and be able to adapt to the information. Number three, always have your losses under control. Develop an effective risk management rules. What are your rules to control the losses? What are the rules when you are in drawdown? You need to have a, an effective risk management rules, something that you can reflect on and something that can guide you while you are in the markets. Okay, guys? Number four, which is something that I touched on on Thursday session. I went over information that I've never delivered in five years. If you've not seen that recording, make sure you hop on my session and go on their favorites. And I literally highlighted trading journal. Keeping a trading journal will help spot on common mistakes that most traders overlook. It would help to fine tune your strategy. This is why it is such a pivotal tool I'm going to emphasize it is such a pivotal tool to have. A trading journal has been overlooked by so many traders, and then they come to figure out, man, I've been in this for three years, and I'm only able to make 50K or 80K. Well, and I'm going to tell my students, what is stopping you from making 50K to $500,000? And I ask them a series of questions. 97% of them never have a trading journal. And I say, you know what? That's where your cap is. Your cap is that you decided that you're going to overlook having a trading journal. You know, you need something to highlight your weaknesses and your strengths. So that way you can identify the error and you can avoid repeating the same errors that has you stuck at 50K. A trading journal is probably the most pivotal tool you'll ever have in this career. It's the most important thing to have. The next thing I want you to do is observe others. Replicate successful strategies. Learn from the mistakes of other traders. Learn from my mistakes. Don't have to burden all those losses, if you are learning from traders like myself, we have, an, um, we have a whole bunch of amazing educators on this platform, and we are always sharing with you guys where we, we, where we went wrong. And a lot of it was greedy, being revengeful, not having confidence, not sticking to my trading plan, over leveraging, revenge trading, being too overly emotionally attached to my money not having a trading diary. You see, I wish I had a mentor when I was learning. And this is so key, is that when you're observing us educators, be very mindful to what we're going over. Learn from our mistakes. Don't go to them if we're telling you, don't do this, then just don't go back and, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna listen to it. I'm not gonna do a trading journal. I don't wanna learn today. I'm not gonna have a morning routine. That's you limiting yourself. 
And when you limit yourself, your bank account is not gonna grow. You want real growth? Improve your mindset. Control your emotions. That's probably one of the most difficult things I had to really, really fine tune and discipline because we are naturally emotional beings. We are humans. We have never had a career where we're dealing with our own money in the markets. Usually a lot of people have 401ks. They usually have a pension. You know, we're, we're not really taught financial education in the way where we can actually put our own money in the markets to work for us. So when, we're, when we are first starting on to be a trader, that's probably one of the hardest things to control. And the way you're going to control your emotions is to do not get overly attached to the trade and practice trading discipline. Remember that the market is neither moral or immoral, okay? The market is amoral. Losses are nothing personal, guys. Losses are nothing personal. Even traders like ourselves take a hit from the market from time to time. It's going to happen. It is going to happen, guys. And you cannot beat yourself up from your losses, but instead learn from those losses. Turn those losses into lessons. Turn those lessons into blessings. And when you turn those lessons into blessings, what happens to your bank account? You have gains. You have gains. But instead, we are so trained to take a loss is to beat ourselves about it, get upset, go back and get back what we lost. Sometimes not being in a trade is the best trade. Let that sink in. Let that sink in, guys. The market is, is apathetic. It's up to traders to perceive the market. And let me show you something. The market, they have no emotions. It is up to you guys that's on today's session to perceive the market to be the way it needs to. If your goal in the long run, right, is to attain and maintain a status, it's important to develop a mindset that's going to allow you to observe the market in an unemotional perspective. Your mindset is going to define your reactions during your losses and during your largest gains. Let me, let me repeat that again. Your mindset will ultimately define your reactions during your losses and during your largest gains. Will you be able to stay calm during these moments? Will you be able to avoid overreacting? You see, when we're losing in the markets, we're panicking, right? We have that fear, the anxiety, the anticipation. And then you're, you're riding this wave, right? With the waves of emotions. Then you start seeing the trade go in your direction, right? So you win negative $100, but your analysis is you're supposed to win $350 in the trade, right? You're in the trade. It's now turning back. The pullback is over. The, the fear of, of it hitting a stop loss disappeared. Now, you're, now you are $50 in profit. Now you, you are fearful that that trade may reverse back into that negative $100. So what happens to us traders? What happens? We start pulling out too early. We start pulling out too early. You see, you are able to see $100 negative, but the moment you see $50 or $75 in, in, in profits, you start closing out because you just wanna, oh, you don't know what's gonna happen. You see, you're not, trusting your analysis your re your emotions your emotions is what's overcoming your confidence you gotta develop a mindset that will ultimately not affect your emotions a really good trader a very well disciplined trader will never let their emotions interfere with their trading decisions you see when you're unsure what's going to happen 99% of the time, that's your emotion kicking in. And that's something that we really have to work on, guys. We really have to work on. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. I learned this from, this from this trader. He said, don't be your hero. Okay? Don't have an ego. Always question yourself and your ability. Don't ever feel that you are just too good. The second you do, you are dead. 
Now, it may be an extreme quote, but the thing is, you got to look deeper into what he's saying. You see, when we get overconfidence, when we when that ego hits because, you know, we're on a winning streak, we feel untouchable, right? You feel like you don't got to, you don't got to question this analysis. You good. You don't got to worry about it. You start feeling too good to the point that it will overpower you. That the moment you let that overcome you, you're done. You won't survive in this industry. You won't survive in this niche. It's really important to never have an ego in this industry. I've always remained humble, no matter my success. I've learned through my losses, through my setbacks, that those, are, those were in the most finest moments is where I grew. That's where growth comes from. And I never forget where I came from. No matter how good you guys ever get, don't let your ego take you out of this game because they'll take you out real quickly. You can have a $200,000 account turn to a negative 2K account where now you owe the broker money. Forming a positive mindset. All emotions, they're coming from traders because they don't have that discipline. This is why we, you, you always hear that 90% of traders lose 90% of their trading funds within the first three months. Do you know why? They're getting, they're getting that excitement. Ooh, I had $100 and I flipped it to $500. Nice. And I get traders DMing me all the time. Kim, I made 100% of my account today. I asked them, oh my God, that's, you know, congratulations. But how long have you been trading for? Oh, 35 days. Oh, wow. Okay. Two weeks later, they DM me again. Kim, I'm like, yeah, what's up? You know that $500 win I had? Um, yeah, I remember. I'm down to $50. I don't know what to do. I said, have you been hopping on all my sessions? Yeah, you know, I had a few wins and, you know, I, I, I thought I had it. I, I thought I had your strategy. So I wasn't hopping on your sessions anymore. You see, that's what happens to a lot of traders. They get the feel of making, you know, large returns on investments that they don't understand. That 90% of traders stay in amateur mode. 90% of traders will stay in amateur mode their whole career. They'll make, they'll gain, they'll make, they'll gain, they'll make, they'll gain. And they'll never will see that they will never reach their full potential because they didn't decide to develop a trader's mindset. You see, they developed a get rich quick scheme type of mindset. That's the mindset that they developed, the gambler's mindset. When people see us trading, oh, this is too risky. Well, guess what? So is your job. You need to ask yourself, what psychological traits do the 10 percenters of the consistent traders have? You see, 90, 90% stay amateur. 10% of those traders turn into pros. What are those pro traders are doing that the 90% are not? What are the traits that they have that allowed them to stay consistent their whole entire career. And you know what's the main thing? When you Google the 10 percenters that make it in this industry, all of them have developed a trader's mindset. All of them have developed a mindset that has them to withstand the losses and the gains. They're disciplined to their rules. They're disciplined to their strategy. They're disciplined when their, their strategy does not meet the criteria to enter a trade. They know when to get into the trade. They know when the trade is no longer good. They know when to exit these positions. They know how to control their emotions. They know how to identify their weaknesses. They know how to identify where they're strong. And guess what? They develop a trading journal.
That's what the 10 percenters do. That's what takes you from 90% amateur to a 10% pro trader. Don't take a trade personal. You need to lose. You need to lose because how are you going to know where you need to perfect? A lot of these traders, a lot of these traders, honestly, a lot of people ask them that they think they have this holy grail of trading. But the truth is, what got them to that next level, it was never their skill set. That's what 90% of amateur traders focus on as well. They focus on the skill set and only adding 10%. No, 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 no. After today, you're not, you need to invest 90% into a trader's mindset and 10% skill set. And I'm going to give you some tips that's really going to help you. Traders can benefit a lot in the markets when they're in the most calm state of mind. If you have proper risk management guidelines that are set in place, there's never no need to worry about your trades. If you have proper risk management, why are you worrying about your trades? Even if a trade hits your stop loss, it's not the end of the world. Losing happens all the time, even traders like ourselves. If you have enough reward to a risk ratio, your losses sw should not swallow your wins. Your reward has to be greater than your risk. Even, <clears throat> say for this, you had 10 trades you took. Say you lost six and you won four. Those losses, if you have proper risk to reward, should not have your negative with those four wins. You see, when six losses and your four wins that you got doesn't overpower those six losses, then you, my friend, do not have a reward to risk ratio done properly. A losing trade should not have your account wiped out. Markets go up and down all the time. Remember, I tell you this over and over, the markets do not have emotions. And traders need to avoid, they need to avoid letting their emotions outperform them. When you let your emotions outperform you, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, guys. You need to really, really document everything that you're doing. The next thing is the trading journal, right? The greatest tip to become a trader is to keep track of all your trades. Observe the actions of other traders that have already mastered the skill, right? Don't let the emotions while you're in the trade cause fear and greed. And always remind yourself that the market doesn't own you anything. The market does not own you anything, guys. Sometimes a common, the, the most common mistake beginners do is that when they're losing a trade, they go back in to try to make up those losses. Here goes your emotions interfering once again with your decisions. I'm going to tell you guys this. If you already have the right mindset, all you need is a solid strategy. Understand the way the market moves. Understand the reasoning behind certain price reactions. And you will stay on top of the game, guys. Always try to spend at least one hour before getting on the charts to look at your trading journal. 
One hour before you go to lay down to rest, look at that trading journal one more time. You see successful traders practice this all the time. They know that this is going to be the greatest way to increase their knowledge in the markets. You see, all these tips that I'm giving you today is really going to shift the way you view the markets. Now, another thing I want to talk about, what a lot of successful traders do, we went over last Thursday about the journaling, right? But most people, most traders have a standard journal, which includes the price you trade, the currency pair, the reasons why you got in the trade, where did you exit, why did you get into the trick trade, right? But once you close your trade, develop a habit to update that journal immediately where there was a loss or win. So you can give yourself some insight onto that performance of that setup. You need to be able to give yourself insights in every trade you get into, whether it's a win or whether it's a loss, because that is where you're developing the insight. You see, you just finished the trade. Now you're documenting it. Now it's going to stay in your subconscious mind, that performance. You see, your journal can reveal wealthy information about your trading patterns. If you develop this type of mindset into really digging into this trading journal, your trading journal will probably be the most richest book you will ever own besides Think and Grow Rich. Let that sink in. The most valuable book, the most wealthiest book with the most, in, with the most resourceful information that you are ever going to need in your trading life is that trading journal. You see, that trading journal is not no just regular journal. That journal is supposed to document every single moment as a trader. It's not then until you can look at that trading journal as a reflection to see the growth, how far you've came, how many losses, how many blessings, how many curveballs, how many obstacles did you endure in that journal? That's where you see your growth. That's a reflection of strength right there. Something that you can take with you for the rest of your life. Developing a mindset is so crucial for your success. I could have came, I could have decided to come here and teach you strategies, teach you how to trade US 30, the NAS, SP. But where you need the most. Where I need to pour in the most into you guys is your mindset. There's nothing more crucial. There's nothing more crucial into someone pouring into you and how to develop the best trader's mindset. Because once you have that mindset, you become unstoppable. Are you guys with me? How many people are with me today? Talk to me, guys. Let's see this chat. You have to, you have to put on the chat, Kim. Oh, okay. Sorry. You have to <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> if you want, you can make me host and I can do it. Okay. I, I will in a second. Yeah. <clears throat> A few more points I want to go over, guys, before I end this. It is inevitable. There will always be fear involved in some type of way when you take trades. But when you can identify early on 
that fear that's entering you, that doubt, that insecurity. Now with the proper mindset, you're able to overcome those little triggers that happens to you. You're able to overcome when you see that drawdown and you stay calm and relaxed. People ask me, oh my God, Kim, how can you stay so calm in that drawdown? It's almost like you stop loss. And I'm so very calm because I know that I, I entered the trade meeting all the criteria that is needed to execute these positions. You see, once you have tuned into your mindset, there's no more worries. You will never have to worry about your trading. Two things can happen. You're either gonna make money or you're gonna lose money. What's the point of worrying? Just let the trade do what it needs to do. Don't look at your trading all the time. Don't look at your phone or your computer and see, oh my God, I'm $10 in profit. I'm negative 75. Don't do that to yourself. You're only limiting yourself. And if you limit yourself, guess what? You're going to stay in amateur mode for the rest of your life. I'm not here to, to say the things you want to hear. I'm here to say the things you need to hear because that's where you're going to grow. You're not going to grow when someone coddles you and tells you it's going to be okay. No. You need to have someone to tell you when you're wrong. Get your act together. Stop putting excuses. And get to work. That's what's going to train you to be the best trader. Not crying at your losses. Not whining. That's not going to change the loss. That's not going to change your negative bank account. That's not going to trade your broker to looking the way he looks right now. Crying about it's not going to change the situation. What's going to change the situation is when you change your mindset. You want results? Change your mindset. Stop focus on so many strategies. Focus on what's going to bring you the money. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether, you, whether you're a trader, whether you're learning to be a trader, whether you're a chairman, a leader in this company, everybody needs to work on their mindset to become successful in whatever they need to do. You can be the best salesperson, but if your mindset is not where it needs to be, your, those results will soon diminish. And then you realize, my God, I was a top producer this month. Yeah, you were. But then fear came in. Ego came in. Greed came in. And it stripped that away from you. And that's why I need to teach you on today is don't let these things that are here to hurt you overpower you. You are stronger than your fear. You are stronger than your emotions. You are stronger than greed. You are such a powerful individual. You are strong enough to overcome any obstacle you face in this industry. Stay positive, stay confident, and no matter what, you stay humble. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you.